For days before the race, the pits are the scene of great activity, and nowhere are they busier than in the Jaguar pits, for Jaguars have a proud record in this great endurance test. To preview the race for us, one of our cameras and recording gear are fixed in one of the D-type Jaguars over in Lamar. Then their number one driver, Mike Hawthorne, last year's winner, climbs in with our microphone attached to his chest so that he can bring you a running commentary as he races around the course. So let's go round Lamar now with Mike Hawthorne. I'm now on the starting line, getting ready to move off. Moving off. Accelerating hard up to Dunlop, Dunlop Bridge. Now they've made Dunlop Bridge much faster this year. By doing so, they've also made it safer. Not so acute as it was. And you can go round very nearly flat out. Now we're around Dunlop Bridge, going down to the S's, braking. We normally take this, these S's in um, second gear. I've got to be a little careful today because quite a lot of traffic on the road. Accelerating up to Terre Rouge. Braking. This is the first gear corner. Coming round. There's somebody in the way. Never mind. Cyclists everywhere. <laughs> Typical friend. We're on Mulsan Strait now. Going down here. the race we get up to about 175 to 185 miles per hour. One advantage of having a long straight like this is you can relax a little and get some back some of your energy. The only trouble is that at night it's very difficult to try and judge the distance of other cars that are going slower than yourself especially on this corner, which is uh, flat out for the big cars at about 175. And when you're approaching a smaller car, you have to judge the distance to who's going to get there first. It becomes quite difficult. Now coming over Rather Hill, down to Mulsan Corner. If we take in first gear, Second, down into first, now around. A lot of people have gone into that sandbank during the races and have spent a long time digging themselves out. On the right, we have the new signaling pit. It's been put up this year. So that all the signaling is, that, is now done from those pits and not from the pits opposite the grandstand. We're now coming down to Indianapolis. They made one or two improvements here. They bank it very slightly and wind it considerably. And it was just here, underneath that sign, that Desmond Titterington went off with the Jaguar last night. Fortunately, not hurting himself or the car. Accelerating up to Arnage. This is the first gear corner again. Coming around, you see the sandbag? Uh, one where one of the Jaguar cars got stuck in that last year and had to be withdrawn. They couldn't dig it out. Now this is where they made one of the biggest improvements on the course. It used to be a, a very dangerous hump here. You couldn't see over it and were liable to run into trouble if you threw cars spinning the other side of it. But now they've cut it away and it's far better. We can just about take it flat out now. We're now approaching the rise before White House where they've made a big improvement by widening the road and also lowering it a lot. 
now far safer to be taken very, very fast indeed. We're now coming up to the pit. Long straight. It's just up here on the left where there was a terrible accident occurred last year. Having to go slowly through the pit because of the crowd. Now the cars. Sweeping along here, some... You see it's terribly crowded. Of course it won't be like this at 4 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. 